Welcome to this ASN Kidney 360 podcast. I'm Audrey Shi, a postgraduate research associate in transplant surgery at Yale School of Medicine. I'm here to introduce an interview I conducted with two kidney transplant patients, Tommy and Tyrone. The two of them met when they both discovered they'd signed up for the same research study conducted by nephrologist and Yale assistant professor, Dr. Sherry Mansour. From there, they went on to realize they were each receiving a kidney from the same donor, and against all odds, have since developed a friendship for life. Here they are to tell their story. So we became best friends. Well, we, we, we were going downstairs, I guess, to get ready to go into the operating room. And I seen that he had the same little bag, the red bag on his bed from Sherry. And I asked him, I says, are you getting a transplant? He goes, yeah. I said, we're probably getting the same one. And yeah, we, we became friends. <laughs> they don't let you know nothing in the hospital. You know, they try to keep everybody's uh, little thing private. But I went looking for him on the floor, you know, after um, we were in the rooms. And we became friends ever since. We're coming up on two years, right, T? Had a lot in common. Yes, yep. sir. Two years ago. We're coming up on two years. Congratulations. Happy two-year uh, anniversary you. almost. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. When um, I went searching around the unit looking for Tyrone and um, Tommy, and I saw him going down in the elevator or that day and he had the same red pack on his stretcher that that Tommy had from your research. And I said, that guy has that research thing on his thing. He has to be getting the other kidney. So when Tommy went downstairs, he talked to him and he said, Oh, his name is Tyrone. So I went walking around the unit looking for him and I couldn't see in all the rooms. So I asked a nurse and I said, um, I'm looking for um, Tyrone. I can't really pronounce his last name. He just got a kidney. And she was like, no, I, we can't tell you anything. And I'm like, that's okay. I'll find him. So I keep going around. And then I see someone who fits his description, but they had a letter C. And I'm like, wait a minute. I got to open the door. And I was like, Tyrone. And I'm like, what's the C? He goes, it's Cleveland. I'm yeah. like, I've been looking for you. Oh, for two years. oh my gosh. That's, that's why we couldn't find him. <laughs> We just it, Cleveland. <laughs> it was Cleveland, but the nurses weren't helping because I didn't know his last name and they weren't letting it out. And I was no, like, I'll find him. They don't give out any information. <laughs> I'll look in every door. <laughs> that sounds like it must have been like frustrating that they wanted yeah. to put the barrier right. Well, I, I think um, I think that this is the coolest thing about it, that we're friends because, um, you know, when transplants, they don't they want everybody to have their own, you life. know, be very discreet about everything. Uh, like we, we, out. we both, um, you know, sent letters to the donor, mm-hmm. the donor's mm-hmm. family. And, um, I haven't heard back from you, Ty. No, I don't think so. No, I, I, I really don't think they're going to even respond back at this point. It's been a while. I just think that it is what it is. We said what we had to say. We appreciate it. And I think that's pretty much all they wanted to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, p- plus we have one other good story. My wife's a hairdresser. And one of her clients is an artist. Oh. And I'm talking like a serious artist. Um, we went to her house. She did a whole photo shoot with Tyrone and me. And the um, the painting is actually in. It's in um, Washington right now at an exhibit. Yeah, uh, Tyrone and me haven't even seen I it yet. I haven't seen it either because I didn't want to look at it on a photo. I wanted to wait to see it in person. But um, it got accepted to an art exhibit. And it's there now. Oh, my gosh. So I- so I guess that's why we're not with, um, seeing it, with Ty. With the story, because I keep saying, um, when I was talking about it at the salon, because everybody, it's been a couple of years, he was waiting for the transplant. So every one of the clients knew, we're waiting for a kidney. If we get the call, I, you know, I have to leave. And um, she heard me saying the story. I go, it's really great. I go, um, Tommy and Tyrone, they're like kidney brothers. And she was like, that's a great story. I got to interview them. And she did. Yeah. And she, and she did a painting about uh, with us. And uh, so I'm guessing, uh, you know, when she gets the painting back from the exhibit, I guess that's when we'll see it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm like dying to see it, and so is Ty. Oh, thank God, man. You know, it's a blessing. Now, me and him are friends for life. It, like, if, if, if it was someone in my family that um, had lost someone and, and their organs went to somebody, I mean, this is me. I would want to know who they are because the person you know, that gave the organ is either relative of mine or some, and that's part of them that's still alive. You know, keep keeping two guys alive, right? Yep, yep. But, you know, everybody's different. If they don't want to, you know, contact us, that's fine too. 
But, you know, like Ty said, I, you know, we thank them for life. In terms of, um, I guess I want to close out just because I think the bond that you guys share is so special. What were those first initial meetings or hangouts outside of the hospital like? Oh, with it was us? like, um, mm-hmm. yeah, it was like, uh, I don't know, just like we just met in like the we store. And that was it. Yeah, like it we just, were friends it already. It, it flowed. Yeah, I mean, I, it, you know, how how could we let each other get away? Because I mean, like I said, we have the same organ. I feel like we're related. You know, and and we and we go out, we hang out, and, you know, and he brings his girl, and, and you know, we have a good time. Like I, you know, we're we're gonna go for our two year anniversary dinner. <laughs> you know, it's coming up in a few weeks. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Do you have a reservation? Where are you guys gonna eat? Well, we don't know yet. He sometimes he picks one, sometimes we pick one. Yeah, two year anniversary already, Ty. You believe it? We're here, so yeah, I believe it. I hear you, brother. (laughs) This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology. All rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare professional If you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment, thank you for listening to this podcast from the American Society of Nephrology.